One Decatur woman tonight marks five years since her son was shot and killed during a home invasion. However, that nightmare scenario back in 2019, it continues to haunt her to this day. She feels the men responsible for his death were never truly held accountable. WFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us live from the Morgan County Courthouse in Decatur. Daquan, two men were charged with capital murder, but the outcome was not what the family wanted. Nolan Georgia Irvin still feels resentment over the death of her son, Michael Irvin Jr. She's seen one suspect be acquitted by a jury and the other suspect take a plea deal on a lesser charge. And because of that, she feels as if she hasn't gotten the justice she feels she deserves. For Georgia Irvin, the loss of her son, Michael Irvin Jr., still leaves an extremely bitter taste in her mouth. In 2019, he was shot and killed in his own home at 3 a.m. during a home invasion. Zachary Williams and Ulysses Wilkerson were both arrested and charged with capital murder soon after the crime. But in the five years since, neither man has been convicted. Unless some kind of drastic evidence come up, it's over again. In 2022, a jury found Williams not guilty of capital murder. He claimed he was in Madison the night Irvin was killed. Irvin's young daughter took the stand and identified him, but the defense said her testimony was inconsistent with what she said the night of the murder. Wilkerson took a plea deal last year that reduced his capital murder charge to conspiracy to commit murder, receiving a five-year sentence. Georgia called these results a failure of the justice system. Their parents sisters and brothers can pick up the phone and call them or they can call them. I have to go to Sterles. His sisters and brothers have to go to Sterles to visit with him. Sunday marks a day she'll always loathe because she says knowing she'll never be able to hear her son's voice again is a pain that knows no limits. Now, like I said, uh, Wilkerson got, he was sentenced to a five-year deal, but as a part of his plea agreement, the four years that he spent waiting for a trial counts towards the end of his sentence, meaning in just a few short weeks, he'll be back out. Reporting live, Indicator, Daquan Lee, 48, on your side.